So let's look at a couple of examples. Example one, Steve buys a model helicopter for £8.95. What is this in pounds and pence? Well, just from the way I've read the question, I've practically given the answer away. I said £8.95, so that is £8.95. In the next example, we want to put the decimals in order from largest to smallest. So let's just have a look at these. So they all begin with a zero uh, and the zeros are in the units column for all of them. The zero is immediately followed by decimal points for all of them. So we can't tell them apart from the first digit. So we're going to have to look at the value of the tenths column. So we've got a zero, a seven, five, a six and a six. So what is bigger? Uh, what's biggest out of six, six, five, seven and zero or seven? So the largest decimal is 0 0.73. Let's go back and have another look. We've got a six, six, five and zero. Well, six is bigger than five, six is bigger than zero. So one of these two numbers is gonna be the next largest. Now, this is where some people might struggle because here we've got a number which has two decimal places and we're comparing it to a number which has one decimal place. If you don't like comparing decimals with different numbers of decimal places, then fill the the blanks or the gaps with zeros. So 0 0.60 and 0 0.64. We know that they, from the 0 0.6 bit, we can't tell them apart. But if we look at the second decimal place, we've got a four and a zero. Well, what's greater, four or zero? Four. So 0 0.64 is the next largest, swiftly followed by 0 0.6. So these can be taken out of the equation. Now let's just compare these two numbers here. We've got a zero, we've got a decimal point, but afterwards we've got a five and a zero, or five is greater than zero. So 0 0.592 is therefore greater than 0 0.09, which is the smallest of these five decimals.